The American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers' 18th Historic Landmark designation was in 1984 in recognition of the first tower silo for ensiling forage in the United States. Storing forage for winter feeding has been a challenge ever since cattle have been domesticated. The Romans, mound builders of North America, and the Incas of Peru understood ensiling crops. And by the latter part of the 1800s, experimentalists in France, England, and Germany independently had developed the process of storing and ensiling forage in long pits or sheds. The first tower silo for ensiling forage in the United States was constructed on this site near Spring Grove, Illinois in 1873 by Fred L. Hatch, an American farmer and pioneer farm leader in Illinois. This was several years before the first pit silos appeared in the United States. Hatch learned about the technique of preserving forage by ensiling while a student at the Illinois Industrial University, now the University of Illinois. Returning home, he and his father constructed a silo on the family farm. The first silo had a 10 by 16 foot rectangular footprint, was 24 feet deep and was inside the barn. The Hatches first dug a pit 8 feet deep and laid stone walls around it. The above ground part of the silo was built of flooring with a layer of tar paper and another layer of flooring boards. This made the silo nearly airtight. The original silo was used continuously until 1919. In 1873, Hatch and his father quietly made history when they filled the silo with corn cut to about 2 inches in length. The short cut made the silage easier to pack tightly, thereby excluding air and reducing spoilage, easier to remove and feed, and more palatable. The structure eliminated spoilage that occurred in pit storages due to rain and snow seepage and also made it possible to feed the silage daily without spoilage. Square silos were quickly replaced in the 1880s by round brick silos. During the 1890s, round wood silos came into use and the commercial manufacture of tower silos began. Concrete and burned tile silos soon followed. There were an estimated 5,000 tower silos in the United States in 1886. By 1920, that number had grown to 455,000. The Hatch Silo plaque is located in the Lyle C. Thomas Park in Spring Grove, Illinois. The silo is no longer there, but its stone base is evident.